Hey my dear data friends, it's Nikola from Data Mozart. In this video, we'll talk about one leg shortcuts. One leg shortcuts, they're super cool, right? But shortcuts are supported just for uh, other fabric related items such as lake houses, plus uh, Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2, Amazon S3 and Dataverse. We can't create shortcuts to, for example, on-prem data sources like SQL Server, right? Right? Stay tuned and I will show you in this video how you can create, I like to call them shadow shortcuts uh, to any data source that is part of uh, your Power BI semantic model. And when I say any, I mean literally any, not only SQL Server tables or Excel files, but also something as wild as DAX calculated tables. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's start and I'm in the Power BI desktop and I just prepared a simple report that contains data coming from various data sources, uh, such as, for example, SQL Server database. So if we take a look at um, this one, which is Contoso product, this is a SQL Server table from Contoso sample database. And then I also have a lot of tables that are coming from Excel files like for example this one flat table or this one premium and so on and so on this one is a dax table so i created this uh, dax calculated table to summarize uh, the total sales amount for every brand name so it's just a dax calculated table within this uh, power bi file and you know what i will also create one table uh, by using enter data option so i will manually create basically a new table in my uh, Power BI semantic model. So I'll call this one uh, premium type and let's put two different uh, uh, values here, earned and written. If you are in insurance industry, you're probably aware of these uh, uh, terms. So let's call this one premium type. Okay, I'll load this to my uh, semantic model and I will then, of course, publish this data set to my uh, Power BI workspace. Uh, important thing to keep in mind in case for this feature that I will show you and it is called one leg shortcuts for semantic models, uh, your Power BI work, uh, your uh, workspace need to be fabric enabled. So uh, it's, it's uh, either part of the fabric capacity, so F SKUs or one of the Power BI premium per capacity uh, workspaces. So P1, P2, and so on and so on. So let's wait a few seconds for this to upload and then uh, we'll come back and uh, explain uh, the next necessary steps. Okay, so uh, my semantic model and report were uploaded to Power BI and let's go and uh, find it here. So I'll just refresh my page and here it is, Chef Big Book. So this is my semantic model. So now for this feature one lake for semantic models to work, you need to enable a uh, few things uh, 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 in advance. So first of all, I'll click on three dots next to a semantic model and I'll open settings for this semantic model. And here down below, you see this option one lake integration, uh, which is still in preview, but don't worry. So I'll turn that on and apply. So it says you can automatically write data imported into your semantic model tables to Delta tables in one lake. And that's the feature, that's the exact feature that we want to leverage in this video. Uh, so you need to ensure that your semantic model contains at least one table in import mode. So for direct query, for hybrid tables, this is not going to work. At least one table must be in import mode. So let's hit on apply. And one more thing that needs to be uh, uh, defined is within the admin portal. So I'll go to admin portal and all the way below under integration settings, you see these new options. Semantic models can export data to one lake and users can store semantic model tables in one lake. So in this case, because I'm the only user in my tenant, uh, this is enabled for the entire organization. You may want to uh, set this only on the specific group level. 
and users can store semantic model table in one lake preview. So make sure that these two options are enabled in order for this whole thing to work. Okay, so that was the first thing. The next thing we are going to do is to basically uh, export our tables from Power BI semantic model to Delta format and store it into, into the uh, data lake. So I'll just refresh this. I'm connecting now from SQL Server Management Studio. I'm connecting to uh, my Power BI workspace, which has XMLA read and write options enabled. Okay, so all the databases in your Power BI workspace are essentially semantic models. So one semantic model equals database in analysis services instance, essentially. So this is my chef big book. This is uh, my uh, semantic model where I'm interested in. So I'll just create a new query. So right click on that one and new XMLA query that I want to execute. And let me see if I have this one. Okay, I'll just put here my database name and let's execute this query. So it will take a few seconds and hopefully uh, complete successfully. And after that, we'll continue our journey to, yeah, to use these tables from Power BI semantic model as shortcuts in our lake house. Fine, uh, once this query executed successfully, you should see a message similar to this one. And then it's time to go and see what's happening within our uh, one lake. So at this moment, you see that uh, I'm connecting through one lake file explorer to my one lake. And I have two folders, essentially one is for data warehouse and one is for lake house. So what I'm going to do now, I will right click on data, then one lake and then sync from one lake. And there you go. So you can see now the new item created in one, my one lake with suffix semantic model. So this means that we are using semantic model from Power BI as, uh, so we are basically uh, storing all the tables from uh, Power BI semantic model as Delta tables in, in uh, our one lake. And that means because those tables are now stored in one lake in Delta format that essentially we can do with them whatever we do with regular data tables, the uh, Delta tables that we have in uh, our one lake. And that means when I say we can do whatever we want, we can also create shortcuts to these tables, uh, same as we would do for, for other uh, tables. So if I click here, for example, you see it's nothing else but Delta file or parquet file uh, optimized with all V orders, uh, V order things and other optimizations uh, inside. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going back uh, here and I'll go to my uh, lake house. Now let's open our lake house and let's see what's in there. So at this moment, I have multiple tables uh, that are natively stored in my lake house, multiple uh, Delta tables, but let's create a new shortcut. Okay. And in this case, I will choose Microsoft One Lake and here is my semantic model. So that's basically uh, where I want to grab Delta, Delta tables from. So I'll uh, click on uh, this one, expand tables. So you don't need to import, uh, you, know, you don't need to put all the tables to create shortcuts to all the tables. You can go and choose, uh, essentially I want to do, let's say uh, this one, this is DAX calculated table. Okay, so uh, let's do this one and let's do premium type, the one that we created manually by using enter data option. And for example, let's use one from SQL Server. So Contoso product, premium type and sales per brand. I'll click next and then I'll click create just to confirm this. This should be fast because there is not uh, much data here. It's completed successfully. And now you can see all of these tables are available here. Contoso product one, because we probably have uh, one with the same name, uh, uh, premium type one and sales per brand one. So I have those three, uh, probably I had in uh, previously tables with same names uh, and I forgot to delete them from my lake house. Nevertheless, now if I click on, for example, this one premium type one, 
let's see what's in there and uh then yeah we'll continue uh we'll continue uh here yeah as you remember earned and written two types of premium that we entered manually now they are available here now for me the main question is and main consideration is what happens if the data uh in the power bi uh, uh semantic model changes do i need to export data once again or will the lake house through the shortcut automatically update the data from power bi semantic model so let's go and check this uh, I'll just do a something simple like uh, add another value here in this manually created table. So premium type and let's just add another one which will be called a shortcut. Okay. So now we have three values here. I'll hit close and apply. And we need to, essentially I don't expect uh, because we didn't publish our report back to uh, to Power BI Workspace. I don't expect that the shortcut will pick up from Power BI Desktop. That's not realistic. But once I click on publish, let's do this and let's publish our uh, Power BI report and semantic model again to Power BI Workspace. And then I will check, do I need to, uh, do I need to export data as, uh, uh, as Delta tables again or not so let's see what happens now okay so the power bi semantic model and report were both uh, republished again and so now we have two values let's see what happens once i hit refresh here let's try and in case that this doesn't work then we need to re-export re uh, the data from semantic model to delta table again i will hit refresh fingers crossed and yeah let's wait for a few seconds and there you go so we had our uh, additional value automatically propagated and pushed directly to a delta table through the shortcut so we can access and combine this data with whatever data we have in our uh, in our one lake including uh, existing delta tables, tables from warehouses, and so on and so on. Uh, so what's in there? You, I think you already saw this. It's just uh, the latest version of the of uh, uh, the delta uh, delta file. So if I go and check here, and I just need to sync this with one lake. And let's check what's in there. So tables and then for premium type, you see uh, there is the latest version here from 921. And in Delta log, we have two previous versions that were uh, part of, uh, uh, of this uh, uh, Delta table. So essentially it keeps the last, the latest version always here. And then in Delta log, uh, you, you can see both versions of this of this data uh, from premium type table. Uh, why I think this is super excited, exciting, uh, this feature? Uh, well, let me show you a quick uh, uh, illustration and then I think you will understand and get the better, better feeling and better understanding what can be done with this uh, one lake uh, integration for semantic models. So this is a typical traditional Power BI workflow. We get to connect to different data sources. In this case, I use just SQL database and Excel file for, for illustration. But as you saw, you can create, uh, you can also use, of course, uh, uh, other data sources. And then we create this Power BI semantic model, which is nothing else that uh, instance of analysis services tabular. And uh, the potential of this feature is that basically we can export the data of whatever is in, is in this Power BI semantic model, including things that you create afterwards. So uh, not just connecting to SQL databases or Excel files. Let's say that you create new DAX calculated tables like I did or manually enter the data, whatever. So whatever is part of your Power BI semantic model can be exported as a Delta format and stored in your one lake. And that means because it's stored in one lake, 
you can create shortcuts to those items in one lake uh, and those shortcuts will be part of your lake house solution in microsoft fabric and again that means that you can leverage all the features that are available for uh uh, exploring this data, for example, using Power BI Direct Lake. So essentially you can use Power BI Direct Lake uh, and connect through those, as I like to call them, shadow shortcuts to a data from other Power BI semantic models through these delta tables. And you can also use SQL Analytics endpoint, uh, not at this moment in preview, to be honest, but this is coming uh, 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 when this feature becomes generally available. So. Uh, the potential is amazing. Uh, all the people from your organization can basically reuse the data that is already part of Power BI Semantic Mall. In which scenarios you can uh, you can use this? For example, you have a huge SQL Server table that's already included in Power BI Semantic Mall. So let's say that you need to reuse the data from that table uh, across the organization. Of course, you can set the data ingestion process, uh, uh, use pipeline, data flow, Gen2 or notebook to move the data from SQL Server directly to one lake. But instead of doing that, you can just export this table from Power BI Semantic Model as a Delta format, and then uh, it's available uh, uh, straight away. Also, let's say that you identified some uh, uh, business logic within the Power BI Semantic Model that was defined through DAX calculated table. Now, your option is, of course, to recreate that logic uh, 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 and store it in Delta table. You can write it in, in any other way, for example, using notebooks or whatever. But instead of doing this again and uh, rewriting basically the same logic, you can simply export this DAX calculated table as a Delta table and then everyone within the organization can use it. So. I'm really excited about this feature and uh, really looking forward how it develops over time. But uh, this is essentially not something that you're going to use each and every day, but they definitely opens many, many, many new possibilities uh, for data workflows within the organization. That's all folks. Let me know your thoughts uh, in the comments of this video. And of course, if you like this video, Please consider subscribing to Data Mozart channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. And also, if you like this video, don't forget to click this uh, like button down below. See you soon.